Yo, what's going everybody, man? We are back with episode number 10 of the 2K24 My Career Series. Hey, look, 1,000 likes for episode number 11. In this video, we have our last family flashback in the My Career storyline, and it's actually a really good one. It's a very heartwarming one. It's, it's not. But hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 100K, and I want to hit it by the end of the month. And follow me on Instagram. I'm going to try to get another code or do a 2K24 giveaway sometime again in this month. I already gave away one code. Definitely want to give away some more stuff in the future. So with that being said, Let's hop into it. Okay, so before we get into our family flashback game, we have a key game against the Boston Celtics. This ends up being a really, really good game. So uh, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Porzingis, all of them. It's gonna be a tough matchup. And we are on Hall of Fame difficulty now because I am a 90 overall. So I didn't show it right here, but yeah, I ended up being becoming a 90 overall, unlocking that attribute skill. You guys comment down below right now. What overall are you? What overall is your player right now after uh, you know day two of 2K24? So I think I can get to a 93 by a day or two for sure if I just grind out my career. But uh, I've been trying to go through the storyline. So my shooting is almost maxed out, it's like a 94-3. But this Celtics team is no joke. Throwing up a lob to AD. This game gets real, real tough. Hall of Fame is no joke. It's my first time playing Hall of Fame in my career since last year and it's, it's literally no joke. Um, shooting is a lot harder. Right here I'm trying to cross over Malcolm Brogdon. Calling for a pick and roll. And then look, I'm just throwing bad passes, that's bad IQ. But not only is shooting harder for me, my teammates end up being dumber in this game on Hall of Fame. They miss open shots, they sell me, it's, it's, it's really frustrating. But it's all good, call for a screen, wide open three, I'ma hit that one. I'm not gonna miss all of them, I'ma hit some open ones for sure. And we're playing in Boston. You got Robert Williams, poor Zingas that can shoot, Brogdon that's a sniper, Tatum Brown, Vanderbilt open in the corner, it's a good pass by me. Gold Diamond is going to be huge for me in this game. But yeah, Tatum getting and ones. Very frustrating team. Probably the best team in the game all around. I think the Celtics are the best team. Unless there's a better one. Y'all comment down below what's better. Fast break time. I find D'Angelo Russell slamming it down. And I realized in order for us to win, I got to get my team cooked up first. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that contest on Peyton Pritchard. Hall of Fame has Peyton Pritchard playing like Steph Curry. Right here, look at the great find by me, and Christian Woods sold me. But yeah, um, Celtics are probably the best team in the game. Tatum is a handful right there. They're just knocking out contested shots. I'm like, damn, we're down by 13. I gotta, I gotta get assist if, if I wanna win. Peyton Pritchard. Bro's like a 70 overall cooking me. It's insane. So uh, I was like, contested threes are not the move. Let me just get some layups in, warm up. We still have a whole game ahead of us. I'm chilling, shooting over him, green light. I'm chilling, I'm not even worried about it, bro. It's a long game. Tatum, missing the shot. I activate takeover, and my takeover is fire. Check this out right here. Stop, pop, hold on, bang! Doola don't miss, half of the time. I'm gonna start adding that in the end of my saying. Half of the time. Doola don't miss, 57% of the time he makes it, I don't know. But uh, hey, we're back in the game now. Down by eight, what never fails is a pick a roll. And look in the corner, Jared Vanderbilt, wide open, bang! My vision is through the roof. I should start playing wreck. Pick a roll time again, AD. Go ahead, finish that for me. Easy layup for him. But yeah, later in this video, uh, after this game, the family flashback, this was a lot of fun, honestly. It sucks there's only four of them, I wish there was more. Look at that dime, by the way. But uh, yeah, if you guys have gotten to this point, let me know as well. I think I'm, I think I'm pretty far ahead. There's just so many key games that pop up. Like I was expecting this game to be All-Star Weekend, or this video to be All-Star Weekend, but then as you simulate through the season, new key games pop up. So all of a sudden, this game became a key game. And look at that and one. So uh, yeah, I like my career, bro. I really like this this year. Definitely enjoying it more than last year. Look at me finding guys in the corner, getting fouled. He made two of the free throws. So uh, go skill progress. I gotta get one more good stop to unlock another go skill to help my defense. Up by two, I see Braun in the corner. Nice pass to Vando. The vision, the movement is great. Right here, Jalen Brown contested three, drains it. And it was shots like that that was throwing me off. Good screen right here, you know what time it is. Davis, slamming it down. And then look at that contest. Amazing defense, and they got me that GOAT skill now. As you see my defensive stats going up, going to the paint. Just a dumb take by me. What am I doing? And then Jalen Brown, three, missing it. And now it's team takeover. You can choose whether or not to you know, control the whole team or not. I chose not to, I should've. 
AD, pump fake. Good lay, my boy. But this game's getting good. Christian Wood, setting the pick, throwing it up, dunking on Harry Wash. Man, I think his name is Harry. Look at this contest, amazing contest. In 2K says it's only 5% covered. Tough scene. Right here, ending the third quarter, I'm throwing up a lob. <laughs> it's so nice having an athletic big, bro. Tatum, contested. I don't know, you can't stop that, you really can't. Six minutes left, down by two. LeBron James getting his get back from 2017 when Tatum just dunked on him. 2018 it was, I think. And now we're down by five. I mean, Jalen Brown hit a smothered shot. I don't know what to do about that. And then they're cherry picking. 2K on Hall of Fame is no joke, I'm telling you. Down by five, Tatum, bang. <laughs> just crushing me. It's bad. Right here, Tatum, again. Almost a four point play, but LeBron's fouling for what? Okay, down by seven, and uh, we, oh, that was the game. <laughs> that was the game, we lost by seven points. Still a good game, but now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Our new quest unlocked, family flashback, playing as my dad, Prince, one last time. This one is on the Mavericks in 2011 against LeBron in the Heat, back when he scored only 10 points in that game in real life. Um, this is, we gotta stop him again. We played against Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Jordan, Kobe, and last but not least, my dad's playing LeBron James. So let's hop into this cutscene. How you feeling? Like I'm not holding up my end of the bargain. What do you mean? Uh, it's Dirk's team. I know that. I wanted that. But I want to be able to give these boys more than I've been giving them, Dad. Okay. So do it. You only down to one. I know. It's just... I could feel it slipping away already. <laughs> Why'd you sign with Dallas, Prince? Because I wanted to win. You didn't just want to win. You wanted to prove that you weren't some lazy, entitled, stat pad and brat. You want to stop this series from slipping away? Be the player you know you are, not the one they say you are. Dad, I am trying. Don't try. Do it. Empty the tank and make life miserable for LeBron. Do the thing they said you never do and sacrifice for the team. Doesn't matter if you score zero points. You're gonna win this thing by stopping LeBron. It's that simple. It's not that simple. It's not easy. Look, I know you're trying, son. But it's time to find another gear. You gotta go out there and take what's yours. I'm telling you right now, that trophy is yours. You just gotta want it bad enough. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I believe in you. Straighten it out, you got it. I'm standing here with former NBA tough guy, Truck, the proud father of Prince a possible X Factor, and this year's NBA's Finals. Truck, how do you feel? I feel good, Larry, thanks. Over the course of your career, you had front row seats to a number of deep playoff runs. Any advice you have for Prince heading into tonight's game? Well, it ain't too much I can tell him that he don't already know, but yeah, I share some things with him. What did you share? Just mostly have confidence. You know, I just go out there and do the things he's capable of, and he can definitely help Dirk and Jason and them even things up. But thank you so much, Truck, for your time. Now let's kick it back to our announcing team for tonight's game. Okay, so here we are, man. Again, with my dad, uh, Prince, and we have to hold LeBron to under 10 points. That's the main objective, and then win the game, of course. I believe this is game four of the NBA Finals in 2011. Here's my team, Tyson Chandler, Dirk, Sean Marion, J. Kidd. We have an old J. Kidd and an old Dirk, but this was Dirk's first and only ring. And then, you know, the Miami Heat team with LeBron, Bosh, Wade, Joel Anthony, and Mike Bibby. It gets real, it gets real. So I'm using my, a 6'7 six, 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 guard, looking at me pump faking, slamming it down. Oh, and one's even better. I thought I dunked it. But this game was fun, bro. Um, 
Dwayne Wade getting and ones. It was actually easier than I expected. Out of all the challenges, this was the easiest one. Holding LeBron to under 10 points. Because LeBron was playing very passive. He was passing the ball a lot. As you guys will see when you play it yourself, he wasn't like trying to dominate. They kind of mimicked how he was in real life, playing like not his true self. And it makes it so much easier holding the 10 points. And that is five minute quarters. I fouled him right here. But the good news is LeBron couldn't hit a free throw in real life to save his life. And he misses his first one here. So I was chilling. My main thing was how can we win this game? Jason Terry, if you guys know in real life, he gave himself a tattoo of the 2011 NBA ring before he even started the season. He was that confident he was gonna win it. <laughs> and he manifested it for sure. LeBron taking contested shots, we're getting those stops. This team is pretty good defensively. You know, Tyson Chandler, Sean Marion, but Joel Anthony's dunking on Jay Kidd. Yeah, so we simulate and get blessed. <laughs> Hopping in up by seven. Definitely getting lucky. LeBron going to the paint. I'm trying to clamp up, he's passing it. They're moving the ball around, Mike Bibby for three. I can live with that shot, even though he's a sniper. But you notice how Bron keeps passing the ball around to everyone instead of shooting it? And when he does, he misses. He made that. That was a, like basically a smothered shot, but they gave it only 8%. But I'm chilling. J Kid going in the lane, and he just, he sells me, basically. Good steal right here by Prince. Fast break time, I'm too slow to dunk it. <laughs> I try though, and I, ah, I don't. I'm really, uh, I have horrible memory. I just edited this video and I forgot what happened, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm dunking it and stuff. Right here, clamping LeBron, making him take a bad shot, getting blocked, and it's a jump ball. This is legit. I'm getting the storyline because I guess next up is gonna be me, Yula Ali, against Victor Minyama. That's the new like rival. Fast break time, hold on, yes sir. And I was pretty confident we win it. Having this big of a lead, playing this amazing defense on LeBron James, look at this. He's not going anywhere, passing the ball again. And it makes sense why 2K added the LeBron era this year in my league and oh my God, Tyson Chandler's a beast. But like 2K has everything set up, bro. They have all these eras. It makes sense for the My Career storyline. I really like My Career this year, genuinely. Yeah, I think it's the best year they've had in a minute. Good take by Prince again. The cutscenes are dope, not over the top cutscenes, not super dramatic. It's a chill, it's a chill storyline. So I was checking how much points LeBron had. He had five at that point. So he can't score five more for the rest of the game. I'm exhausted. I can't shoot. J Kid going in the lane, nice right hand lay. Maintaining that lead. Right here, LeBron for three, missing it. We got so blessed that he was missing shots left and right. 2K definitely adjusted his skills for this game. And Tyson Chandler is he's doing well. Granted, Joel Anthony's kind of a bum, but still. Ending off this third quarter, fast break. I'm spamming for the ball and I slam it with the one hand. And I'm doing my thing. I wanted to drop 30 points to get that LeBron jersey, but that's kind of tough. And by the way, I've been playing on Hall of Fame this entire game as LeBron hits that contested shot. Like, I, <laughs> Hall of Fame. So just so you guys know, I'm not playing on rookie. This is when we can play a Hall of Fame. Look at Bron though, trying to get that 10th point. I'm not having it. He has eight right now. We're up by five, three minutes left. I'm trying to see who's open. I see Dirk Nowitzki. He didn't help me at all. He was missing shots left and right. It was bad. Taking over the smaller Mike Bibby, Euro stepping in. And I like that this year you can actually score easier on smaller opponents. It makes sense. But at this point, hey, we're up by four. Up by four. Hold on. Tyson Chandler, good read. Slamming it down. Up by six at this point. I'm thinking this game. D Wade getting blocked. And we are chilling at this point. Pass it off to Tyson Chandler for the dagger. And we end up beating LeBron in this game in the NBA Finals. And uh, that's our last family flashback. It was definitely fun. So let's go on to our last cutscene for the family flashbacks. Let's see if there's any more cutscenes throughout this series, but I'll catch y'all later. Thank you, sir. Prince, people are calling this one of the greatest individual defensive efforts in the NBA Finals history. Keeping LeBron James under 10 points for the first time in 433 consecutive contests. How do you respond to that? Defense is a team-wide thing, and you don't stop somebody like LeBron James all by yourself. 
I was just doing my best to play my part. Prince, Prince, oh, Prince, Prince, right here, Prince. right here. Right in the back. Do you think you've unlocked the secret to slowing down LeBron? <laughs> no. no, someone like LeBron, he's going to bounce back. You just got to do your best and pray that he misses some shots he usually doesn't. So what do you think was the key to tonight's victory if not for your defense? Dirk, yeah, fighting through his illness the way he did, he gave us that spark. He's the leader of this team. And seeing him gut through something the way he did, man, that's inspirational. You know, it inspired me, that's for sure. Pr hey, Pr 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 if you want to be remembered, you got to win titles. Nobody cares about how many points you score in the regular season if you can't back it up when it counts. Yeah, you don't have to be humble like I did. <laughs> you know the game is bigger than you. But if you want to be in that greatest of all time debate, you got to stack championships all the same. Hey, I'm working on it. Hey, keep working. You're going to get there. You've got twice the natural ability I had. Plus, you got the maturity to know how to use it. Wait a minute. When you start getting all lovey-dovey on me, Pop, what's with all the compliments? Well, you got plenty of hugs growing up. Don't act like I was some drill sergeant. <laughs> hey, you weren't a kindergarten teacher either, though. That's because I saw greatness in you, and I knew if you didn't fulfill that greatness, you'd regret it for the rest of your life. But, hey, I wasn't no stage mom either. If you weren't <laughs> about this life, I would have backed off. I would have been just as happy if you were an electrician or a lawyer, whatever. But, son, you had that dog in you. Always have. Now you got the opportunity to be the best basketball player who ever lived. So I'm going to do everything I can to help you get there. That's a promise I made you a long time ago. And I ain't never going to break it.